Very quick. The clouds are coming. Shoot a video before the sun goes away. It's been cloudy all day. I got home and the sun popped out. So I'm going to do a real quick showing of this uh, King Creek by Rosecraft. It is a Coke bottle, three and a half inches closed. orange, red, and black G10 covers. It's got a coffin bolster at the back there with RC Rosecraft etched in it. It's got a beautiful half stop. Really nice clip point blade with a lot of swedging. I really like this blade shape. This is a great looking Coke bottle. Get a quick measurement for you. It is three and a half inches closed. Got a blade length. Oh, uh, geez. A uh, blade length of two and three quarter inches with a cutting length of about two and a half inches. And there goes my son. Uh, let's do a little comparison. Next to a Lusahatchee Jack. See the size difference? Do a comparison to Beaver Creek Barlow. They're very close. Beaver Creek is just, you know, obviously a bigger, taller than the handle and the blade. Do a size comparison to a case small swell center jack, otherwise known as Coke bottle. This one has a hot dog shield. Now these are three inches. You can see the size difference there. I was gonna do a video on Coke bottles, but that off to come another day. And then uh, we bump this down to a size comparison to a case mini trapper. These are also three and a half inches closed. Whoa, the case magnetism or also known as the case magic was kicking in. Uh, yeah, you can see how, how close they are. Handle length, blade length. Obviously, uh, blade stock is way thicker on a Rosecraft. Get in there, you can see. This case has a worn cliff. Let's compare that. Oh, there goes my son. Well, I had a couple minutes of sunshine. At least it's not raining. So there's some size comparisons. Rosecraft, very good quality. I love their bourbon bone. I kind of really wished that they would have done this in their beautiful bourbon bone. But they didn't, which is a shame. Really like the yellow smooth bone on this case. And this is just a natural micarta. But yeah, I'm a really big fan of the Coke bottle. Um, Rough Rider released a Coke bottle. It is definitely bigger than this. It's a heavier duty knife. Um, the case used to make a lot of Coke bottles. And they used to have a large Coke bottle, and you don't see very many of them around anymore. Just a single-bladed jackknife. Um, fit and finish, of course. Perfect blade centering. Zero gaps. Zero light whatsoever. Can't even feel the pins. You can feel the thread up there, but no transitions into the bolsters. 
I got a couple of scrapes on the back. I'm not sure if the scrapes were there or if I caused them. Guess G10 scratches just like anything else. Um, oh yeah, I did notice the inner edges here are, very, are kind of sharp. See that? I do notice when I pull my fingers back to close the blade, very sharp edge. It's not uh, rounded or I'm talking the inside there, not the outside. The outside is rounded a bit. But I did notice that. Maybe I'm hooking on it because of the swell here. Um, not a big deal. I mean, that can be remedied, and but I've, I haven't noticed on any, any other of my uh, Rosecrafts, just this one. And like I said, it could just be the, the shape. But this seems smooth, smooth down. So I don't know if it was just uh, the rush to get it out of the factory, or that's just how they did it. Or they put it together and realized that, yeah, it's like taking skin off here. Uh, but not a deal breaker or anything. Still a very nice Coke bottle. I just do notice it. And I've never noticed that before. I wanted to point that out. They do have a nice Rosecraft stamp in the tang. They have Andy Armstrong's uh, Maker's Mark D2 Steel RCT 013. Lucky number 13. Um... I was mentioning another video, they don't do any date stamps on these, so we're just gonna have to remember where they're from. Um, but a lot of these, they only make for a year or two, and he puts them in a vault, so I guess we'll just have to, if we ever look at the knife, it'll tell us what year they were made. It would be nice to have some sort of dating system, but maybe it's too early uh, for Rosecraft to do that right now. I do notice if you look on the tang there, where it swivels around. It's a little different shape than the older ones. Do I have an example here? Uh, it looks about the same. Yeah, so this, you can see how on the inside there, it is completely smooth and flat on the Appalachian. And actually the Beaver Creek, you can kind of see how it bows down there like a little U. And the same with this. And, and I, I think that just gives it more of a unique snap characteristic. Walk and talk. I have noticed that um, a few other knife manufacturers have done that in their slip joints. So yeah. Thank you guys for joining me. For the short review of the King Creek jackknife, um, what do they go for? Fifty six ninety five, fifty seven bucks. If you're lucky, you can get a discount. You can pick these up for under fifty. I'm a huge orange fan. If you don't already know, I'm a feller of the orange, and. I really like this, even though it's not bone, bourbon bone, even though it's not orange Makata, it's G10, I still really like it. Get a little hint of yellow here on the edge too, which makes me wonder if they're going to use this on any other, any other knives. Thanks for joining me. You guys have a fantastic day. Uh, stay sharp, be kind, and take chances.